Let's finish up the last of Amber's appeal. Fuel me once here, drive and instruct the world. So Amber claims the jury's verdicts are inconsistent. In other words, to vote three for Johnny and one from her is inconsistent because they're not compatible verdicts. They both can't be abusers. They both can't be um, receiving money. Uh, actually, the Supreme Court says, yes, they can. Because you don't know what a jury is thinking. You don't know why they ruled how they ruled. Very important in law. She says the jury's award of 10 million is excessive. 15 million? Oh no. Uh, no, Johnny can earn about 15 million in a day. And you're talking about a two year period. Next, Amber says this is really going to set women back. They won't want to repo- uh, report their abuse. No, because they'll know they'll get a fair trial and juries are going to find out the truth. It's actually reductive and a setback to claim only women can be abused. Men can also be abused, and that's what we found out in this case. Another problem is the trial didn't take into account how jealous Johnny was and accusing her of infidelity. Well, it looks like the infidelity accusations weren't jealousy, they were true. With at least five people on multiple occasions. And who knows how many we didn't hear about. We didn't hear about Kevin Costner during the trial that she took off all her clothes and tried to seduce him. And he was like, no, you're still technically married to Johnny. And of course, she argued they didn't allow in mountains of evidence. Medical evidence. Well... If there was medical evidence, you didn't offer any. All you offered were your reports to doctors. That's still considered hearsay. These can only be admitted if the medical professionals make some kind of statement about what they're being told or some kind of evaluation. They didn't in this case. It's only Amber's words. That's why it's not admissible. She never brought in actual medical exams of her body or of her any kind of thing she was claiming happened to her and she never brought in any doctors who conducted any physical exams she said oh they didn't bring in the text of that i sent my dad of when i was abused yeah because again that's hearsay you didn't bring in actual medical proof you didn't bring in any proof oh the court didn't allow steven duder's message well interesting you never let your phone be admissible into court. You never submitted that, even though the court demanded it and ordered you to produce it. So we can't even verify what texts were sent to you, only those you claim were there from your computer. And Duder says he didn't say what you think he said.